Welcome to the Laws of Logarithms. So these are the log laws that we need to keep in mind. Uh, the first one we actually looked at in the last video, y equals log base e to the x, it means that x equals base e to the y. So they notice that the bases are the same. So our first uh, new log law says that if we have uh, log of base a and we add it to with an m and we add it to log base a of n, we get log base a of m times n. So if we add, we multiply with our logs. If we have log base a of m minus log base a of n, then we have log base a of m divided by n. So when we subtract, we divide. Uh, log of any base to itself is always equal to 1. So that's, for example, log base 10 of 10 is actually 1. Log base 16 of 16 is 1. Uh, log of any base to 1 is always equal to 0. And log of base a to m to the power of n, any power can come down the front. So we get n log base a of m. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. So we are going to use our log laws. So log base 5 of 5 squared, uh, log base 4 of a quarter, and log base 3 of 12 minus log base 3 of 4. So for the first one, that's the rule where uh, we bring the power down the front. So log base 5 of 5 to the power of 2. We bring the 2 down the front. We get 2 log base 5 of 5. And log of any base to itself is 1. So we get 2 lot to 1, which is just 2. Next one, log base 4 of a quarter. Well, a quarter can be written as 4 to the power of minus 1. Uh, it's a bit like our indices where if something's on the denominator, then you can raise it to the power of a negative. We can bring that negative down the front. That's using the same law as the one above. So we get minus log base 4 of 4 and log of any base to itself is 1. So we get minus 1 for that answer. And the final example, log base 3, 12 minus log base 3 of 4. So when we minus, we can divide. So we get log base 3 of 12 divided by 4, which is log base 3 of 3. And log of any base to itself is always equal to 1. A shout out to Munya, Harry, James Squared and Ethan. Thank you.